Welcome to my channel SB Quotes. Laughter heals all wounds, and that's one thing that everybody shares. No matter what you're going through, it makes you forget about your problems. I think the world should keep laughing. In life, you can choose to cry about the bullshit that happens to you or you can choose to laugh about it. I choose laughter. There is no need to seek external approval when you already have internal approval. The best tip I could give you is to be active. So many people talk about what they want to do and they just love words. Put actions behind your words. Don't be a talker, be a doer. I don't care how busy I am, I will always make time for what's most important to me. The day you stop doing the small things is the day you think you're above everybody else. How you handle rejection is very similar to how you'll handle success. If you're strong enough to handle rejection without taking it personally, without holding a grudge, and without losing your passion and drive, then you'll be strong enough to reap the rewards. But if you're too weak to handle failure and disappointment, then you're too weak to handle success, which will only end up damaging your life and happiness. No matter what, people grow. If you chose not to grow, you're staying in a small box with a small mindset. People who win go outside of that box. It's very simple when you look at it. If you give up at the first sign of struggle, you're really not ready to be successful. Success isn't supposed to happen, no matter how hard you work. There's no guarantee you're going to succeed. There's nothing set in stone. I stayed true to my dreams and, eventually, they came true. Everybody that's successful lays a blueprint out. I don't think you get successful to brag and throw what you have in the world's face. That's all private. Appreciate hard work and the process of hard work. Because after that's over and you get the rewards of success, you look back on these moments and you respect those moments the best. You have no character, you have no place to come from. The best feeling in the world is seeing the benefits and rewards of hard work. A reputation as a hard worker is a good reputation to have. My goals are so high that I don't have time to relax, in any way, shape or form. Everybody wants to be famous, but nobody wants to do the work. I live by that. You grind hard so you can play hard. At the end of the day, you put all the work in, and eventually it'll pay off. It could be in a year, it could be in 30 years. Eventually, your hard work will pay off. Be loyal to those who help you grow. You got a team, you keep your team together, you run as a unit. You got a team of people, it means they believed in you, they bought into your dream. That means they invested into you, they invested time, energy and effort. In return, you gotta invest your vision and promise them that we're all going to win together. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears have gone into this career of mine. I feel like I have a job to do, like I constantly have to reinvent myself. The more I up the ante for myself, the better it is in the long run. I try to interact with my fans as much as possible. It's good that the person I'm being on stage isn't really an act. It's really me. I feel like whatever you've done in your career, good or bad, it's nothing but a preparation for the big events to come. The two things in the world we all share in this world are laughter and pain. We've all got problems. The levels of those problems vary, but we've all got problems. When you can take things that are painful and make them funny, that's a gift, to you and your audience. My goal is to make everyone and anyone a Kevin Hart fan. You can do the same thing with $20 million that you would do with $50 million. So at a certain point in your life and in your career, 
you realize that it's not about the money. At the end of the day, your fans are the people who support you in and out. And their opinions matter. Every relationship should eventually become a long-term relationship. Any director that I meet now isn't just a director. He's potentially a friend, and someone I can call to do a project that I want or that I have. My experiences in life are getting bigger and better. The more stuff I do, the more stuff I talk about, having kids, traveling, going through relationship problems, dealing with things in my own family. All that stuff builds character. The only time you should look back in life is to see how far you have come. Life is too short to worry about what others say about you. Have fun and give them something to talk about. I am who I am. That's why my friends and peers respect and appreciate me. I don't change or cater my actions to fit my surroundings. I'm myself 24-7. People appreciate that. You get one life. I'm going to embrace mine. My main goal is to be a self-made man and have control over what's mine. You definitely want your kids to understand their heritage, but I don't want my kids to just focus on being black. They are people. I don't want them to judge other people or to be judged. I want them to be good people, so good people will treat them accordingly. I preach that to my kids and everything else falls into place. I don't want enemies. I want friends, and I want them in all shapes, sizes and colors, and loving whoever they want to. I never do anything that I don't want to do. I can get where some scientists would say comedians are crazy. What you have to understand, a lot of comedians are dealing with a dark passion. A lot of these are guys coming from a tumultuous life, including myself. Some people need outlets, a way to express yourself. Some people love so hard that they can't control those emotions when they're at their deepest point. I don't see how people are comfortable with seeing other people be great. You can be happy for anybody, but what is your excuse to not want to be great? These people are great because they just say, I'm a do that, and they do it. That's it. There's no scientific process. No man wants to settle down. It happens. Eventually you're going to bump into somebody that makes you go, hum, I don't mind seeing this person every day. Ever argue with a female and, in the middle of the argument, you no longer feel safe because of her actions. She may start pacing back and forth real fast, breathing out her nose. You know what my girl does. When she gets mad, she starts talking in the third person. That's scary as hell because that's her way of telling me that from this point on, she is not responsible for none of her actions. At the end of the day, women are a distraction. Whether you realize it or not. Two so, I'm at the office, I tell this guy. Pass me the stapler, but when you pass it, make sure staples are in it, because if it isn't, I can't staple anything. I think if you get kicked in the face you deserved it because that means that you watched the foot come to your face. Thanks so much for your watching. God bless you.